My name is James Williams Jr. This is Compound Pack number two. This video probably won't be that long. Alright? And you can hear the reel in the background. It's one of my favorite TV shows. I didn't know they were in five seasons, so clearly I missed the first season. But anyway, that doesn't have anything to do with this video at all. That's not here or there. This video is about college curriculums. Alright? I want to change the college curriculum, which is another reason why I wanted my acting career to take off. Because a lot of things in the college curriculum is not on-the-job training. Now, there are some exceptions to some college curriculums that must not change. And that being doctors or lawyers, depending on your field of doctorhood. If you're going to be a surgeon, all that shit needs to stay exactly like it is. Old school rules. If you're going to be a therapist, that shit should probably stay exactly like it is. If you're going to be a baby doctor, you know upgrade a little bit, you know, on-the-job training wouldn't hurt. You're going to be a lawyer, that shit should stay exactly like it is, except for the time differential. It shouldn't take seven or eight years to become a lawyer. It shouldn't. It shouldn't take more than three to five years to become a lawyer, and your real job should happen when you're in, like a doctor that has a residency. When you're a lawyer, you should have a residency, so while you're, um, learning how to be a lawyer and what a lawyer knows, you should be forced to have mock trials on a daily basis because that's what your job's going to consist of, you doing trials on a daily basis. Whether you're going to be the prosecutor or the other guy, you're going to need to know that. And that's what they should be teaching you in class, how to handle when you lose a case. You know, because nowadays they have, like, most uh, lawyer companies and mandates don't have a lawyer fee unless you win. And they started doing that because some people just don't have the money for lawyers. And these are the things that they need to teach you. Now for me, I'm going to law to school for police science and criminal justice. I have no idea what I'm going to do if I get the degree or the piece of paper or whatever. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I know I need a job. It's not what I want to do. Let's be honest from the jump. Hell no. I would much rather be making some kung fu movies. At this moment in time, that's not going to happen. 20 years ago, if a studio that was here in Petersburg, Virginia would have done that, you guys would know who the hell I am. That being said, nothing to do with this video. But for the acting curriculum at schools, that needs to change. Because if the acting curriculum wasn't the way it is now or was when I started, I would have finished school as an actor way back in the 90s. However, the acting curriculum in schools has damn near anything in it but something to do with actual acting, which is why I'm making this video. The curriculums in school need to change, and they need to teach us what we need to know, not what city mandates, because a lot of the city mandates is just that. It's a mandate. It doesn't hold a heel to beans when it comes to you getting a job. No piece of paper in the world can guarantee that I can act. What well, light through yonder window bricks, it is the sun, and Juliet is the sky. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, where for art thou, Romeo? Yo, <laughs> that shit ain't gonna work. I know we're near something like a chicken. At all. Now if I want to do voiceover acting, I may be able to slide in if the acting curriculum teaches me how to do voiceover acting, which is why I just did that segment. If I want to do Shakespeare, they should have me immersed in Shakespeare. They should have me doing plays for my credit instead of having me read the damn book. It's like, alright, this is how this works. This is my first class. Tonight we're putting on a play of Shakespeare. He's like, what? Tonight? It's like, that's right. Tonight. For this class, you're doing Shakespeare. Each one of you will have a role. The class is 45 minutes long. So in that first 20 minutes, I will pick your role. And then I will place you on the set, and that's what you're going to do. Because that's how you learn your craft. But we don't do that in schools. We don't. My two acting teachers that I pay homage to because they gave me the thrill for wanting to do this, Mrs. Stapleton and Mr. Ruff, I thank you. But at the same time, the school curriculums don't allow us to be taught what we need. 
There needs to be a class so that we can handle auditions. There needs to be a class so we can handle rejection. There needs to be a class so that when we get the role, and we should be able to differ, 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 tongue tied, differentiate the type of acting that we want to do. If we want to be on a TV, then the classes should evolve around a TV show and us making a TV show for the school and learning the rating system and all that shit. So if it's one semester for the class, then we should have that TV show be that semester and determine your grade. If the class, and show it around the school, and if the school and the class likes it, you know, you get a passing grade. If the school and the class doesn't like it, you still should get a passing grade because you put in the work to do the show. You know, film five episodes, air the five episodes once a week for the semester. Or do seven episodes because the semester is what, four or five weeks? Maybe six weeks? It depends on your semester. If you have like a 10 week semester and you do seven shows, you know, a beginning, a middle, and an end, and everyone in, in just have it run through the TVs on, on the campus. And if they like it and they're like, yeah, we want more of that, you know, then you've done pretty good. And they'll be like, okay, well, when you take the second class, you can make the second show. You see where I'm going with that? But school curriculums don't have shit like that in any school that I know of. I could be wrong, but for Virginia, no. But if you're going to be acting and you're going to teach acting, you're going to learn acting, that's what we need to do because actors really only have maybe five or six places where they can home in their talents to get paid. You have TV, you have radio, you have movies, you have theater and the internet. Second part coming soon.